Okay, so for the Iberia Stead uh, demo data sets, we have the Inspector software that you can download from the server in the reader folder there and install. Go ahead and use the 64-bit. It has to be Windows, um, and you have to have admin rights on, on your workstation or computer there. Um, it's pretty lightweight. You can probably do it on your laptop. I, I wouldn't recommend 32. I don't think many people have 32-bit computers anymore, so default to 64 and see if it doesn't work. Um, so I've installed that. If you download that and install the installer and you get the icon on the desktop I went with the default settings on the install there's a bunch of checkboxes but just go with the default um, so let's go ahead and open that up I did notice uh, when I first changed the size of the window on my system it, it reduced it to a tiny little window and I had to find it and stretch it out so that may happen so we did that one and this uh, stack display is somewhere else and you can you can clip it onto the window uh, another one that you may want to use and we'll look at in a minute is the if you click on live dialogues and then select configurations and that brings up this one again this window may be somewhere else but you can bring it and clip it on um, and so I've got a Z stack this is the one I used from the Fiji YouTube I've, I've done some change on this one so let's drag and drop this one in and so it shows you kind of like an overview, overview you saw while you were collecting the data set um, and I've rename the files the one I originally had I didn't name them properly but you can double click and rename them to something more more useful and it will show you the, the stead uh, and the confocal data here there's no Z so use the mouse wheel to go through there are buttons down here down the side for looking at different views the side profile uh, these were from playing around with scopes these aren't perfectly aligned you can definitely see the stead improvement but the points per function wasn't great so we, we had some tweaking to do but this was just during that process and this is one of those systems like Fiji whichever window is active and then these buttons will act on the active window but they also have their own buttons down the side uh, so let's go to the, the top view um, and there's a there's a RGB option there to make it uh, the, the channel colors or you can you can select the window and right click on the color map and pick one of the options on, on, on the color map if you need to um, there are these uh, auto adjustment tools here for the contrast as well which which were really good and let's go ahead and see if it works so f9 if i if i drag and drop a little window in here and hit f9 it auto scales to whatever i've got in it it has little adjustment boxes which are black or given that they have a black background that's a little bizarre but you can just about get them um, and change the window and hit f9 again it will auto scale there so you can you can kind of pick the bright ones if you want to auto scale to those let's say or hit an F9, or you can pick a, a dim area and auto scale to that. So you can use that F9 auto scale to, to change where it, where, where it scales to. Um, let's do it again this window. Okay, and so that's the, the stead versus the comp vocal there. Um, and so that's one part. And if you want to do an overlay, you can right click on it and go to channels and turn off gallery mode. It's selected here, so we turn that off there, and that's the overlay. Uh, another thing I've I've got here is this this histogram is coming up and I've this was me playing around with it I've all, I've selected the histogram but it's kind of cool it will let you do a histogram in a, in a given area and it will do it live as you're drawing it there and so you can see the histogram there or you can change it to let's say a Z profile and get a Z profile down a certain section however you need to through the beads um, or your sample in your case and so that's one part there and if you add more of the MSR files to to the inspector you can see them here in this configurations window and the good thing is you can turn them on and off bit by bit if I turn that one off I can just inspect this one it's essentially the same data but I've kind of cleaned up one of them I can turn that one off and turn this one on and click on it to see which ones I've got happening there so you can kind of organize and just see the ones you want to see in, in that regard um, and whichever window you've got open you can use that to then use as an export and, and export things from there so that's that's the basics just opening up and viewing the files um, let me know if you've got any questions I'll try and figure out the help files pretty good it will take you to an online um, uh, online document and you better go through the help there's lots of different shortcuts and there's a, there's a kind of a cool bunch of things it can do but just for the basics that's probably sufficient